What's up, everyone? Welcome to Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined this morning by Sebastian Ibarra. We've got a lot to talk to. We're going to talk Bobby Miller, but Sebastian, we've got to go back to last <laughs> night. I posted on social media this morning. I can't believe that happened. Down five, seven runs in the ninth inning. Incredible comeback on a Tuesday night in Coors Field with a huge divisional lead, a couple key injuries in the rear view. I just love to see the fight. What was your reaction or thoughts on kind of how that ninth inning played out for the Dodgers last night? Yeah, that was an insane ending, even for a game at Coors Field. Um, you know, the the big talking point is going to be the Teoscar to check swing. And that call, one, it's already, like, objective as it is. But that was, like, if if he struck out there, I would have totally understood it. Yeah. And obviously, like, your bias would be like, okay, like, I'll take it. But, um, yeah, it's one of those things I'd be like, I'd understand the call the other way, but it worked out for the Dodgers. And, uh, that, yeah, that was just a crazy game. I, I think about, like, the NFL, and and uh, there are moments where I'm like, I can't believe that this game is still in partially determined by, like, where some 65-year-old guy just blindly decides to place the ball <laughs> on, like, third and inches. And, and this is baseball's equivalent. Like, this entire game hinged on whether some guy, you know, 100 feet away from the batter – had a total judgment call about whether like a split second swing crossed some imaginary threshold where it becomes a swing versus holding up and the entirety of the game somehow rests on that. Like, I, I do think there's something he said, look, you gave up a grand slam and then he hit a home run on the next pitch. So like, it's hard to blame the umpires too much. And yet if I'm a Rockies fan, it was one of the rare moments where if he just calls him out, the game's over and it, nothing else matters. There's no, well, then this would have happened. That would have been it. And so um, crazy stuff for the Dodgers. If you if you missed our post game show, by the way, last night, Scott and I broke all of it down, reacted to that, reacted to Walker Bueller's struggles, kind of what what happens next for him, some of his post game quotes about possibly going on the injured list. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check that out. Uh, it's on the Dodger Blue YouTube page. But Sebastian, we're turning the page. It's Wednesday. We're here to talk about Bobby Miller. And if you haven't heard the news, Bobby Miller is back. He's been gone for two and a half months since April 10th. He has been out with a shoulder injury. He's only made three starts. The good news, though, he says, quote, I feel really good, really excited for tomorrow. This was a quote from yesterday. It's been a long two and a half months, but I'm feeling really healthy, happy to be back in a major league game. When I look at his performance this year, Sebastian, first of all, I can't believe it's already been two and a half months. Second of all, it's crazy to me that he's only made three appearances. For some reason, I had in my head he had made more than that. But when you look at these outings, March 29th against the Cardinals, six innings, two hits, one walk. 11 strikeouts, no earned runs, arguably the best start of his career. 11 strikeouts, one walk. His next two, though, ranged from awful to mediocre. One and two-thirds on April 5th against the Cubs. Five earned runs, three strikeouts, two walks. And then April 10th against the Twins. Four innings, two earned, four strikeouts, three walks. When you look at those three games, part of my approach to tonight's game is, like, what am I looking for from Bobby Miller? So as you've dug into the three outings we've seen from Bobby Miller so far, what do we need to see to believe that we're getting the March 29th, 11 strikeout, one walk, Bobby Miller versus the April 5th, one and two thirds, five earned runs, three walks, two strikeouts, Bobby Miller? Yeah, my first thought was this is, this is a rough play, landing spot for someone's sure. first game back in the majors. Um, but he has one start against the Rockies at Coors. He went seven innings, two, earn, two runs, one home run, nine Ks. Okay. Um, the difference in between – the two starts for me was, and it, it's going to sound really simple because it, I guess it kind of is, but also it isn't. Like he didn't have control of his off speed, which really put him in a tough position. And even at times his fastball, when you get behind in the count, even with the fastball as good as Bobby Miller's, like yeah. major league hitters, if you if they're in a count where they know a fastball is coming, they're not, for the most part, and they're, they're going to do damage more often than not. Uh, and that was really the difference in ice. What I saw was the Cardinals. That's that off speed was there. He was keeping hitters off balance against the Cubs. You know, you could there was the the weather factor. It was you know it was really cold, really windy. Um, and you know he's not going to use that ex as an excuse. But and then in the next game, it didn't look a whole lot better. It looked a little better, but not a whole lot. The yeah. you know command still wasn't quite there. So. And in his rehab starts, when he was when that when there's that worry about his dip in velocity, he was like, his quote was like, "Oh, you know, I'm kind of focusing on commanding my off speed right now, so I'm not really worried about the fastball velocity," which came back uh, in his next couple starts. So I'm looking for some good command of 
his uh, off-speed offerings, and that should help him be more successful. Yeah, because we look at Miller, and we know the stuff. We know the velocity. We know like how impressive it is just to the eye test what he can do. And yet, in in so similar to like Bruce Dar Gratterall a couple of years ago, even Dustin May, you see these guys that throw so hard and and have such electric movement. And yet, for some reason, the strikeout rate never sort of seems to follow. And with Miller, that first start, six innings, 11 strikeouts, you're like, holy smokes, he's arrived. Like, this is it. This is the type of line that you expect. Like, you watch a guy like Paul Skeens, who has incredibly electric stuff. And if we're being honest, like, from a velocity perspective, Bobby Miller isn't too far behind in that. And yet, the swing and miss has never come. He has the first great start. Now, with the shoulder injury, you never know, like, when did the shoulder injury actually happen? Maybe those last two outings, he was pitching at not 100%. Of course, you look at his rehab appearance numbers at AAA, and it hasn't exactly been electric, the type of dominating performances you would like to see. But to me, like again, like you, it, it seems so simple, but it's like swing and miss stuff. Like, Can he actually miss bats? I think that is the key for Bobby Miller to be making the next step. He can be effective as a guy that's inducing weak contact and getting three or four strikeouts per. But for him to become the guy that I think a lot of us are hoping he becomes, Sebastian, the number one type pitcher, which it doesn't have to be today. It could be in the next couple of years. That, to me, feels like the biggest jump is can he maintain, you know, the 6% walk rate, 6 to 7% walk rate that he had last year while also maintaining kind of the, the elite strikeout rate that, look, it's three starts. But, you know, he, his strikeout rate doubled so far this year compared to last year, almost 23.6% to 36%. Like, if that strikeout rate can live in the 30% range while the walk rate can live in the six and a half range, that to me is the key. I think you're onto something. I'm looking at in zone pitches, that slider. He threw 13 of them in his last start. That was 18% of his pitches. Um, in his first start, that slider was in the zone 67% of the time. In his last start, it was down to 54% of the time. And so if he's not able to get guys thinking that's going to be a strike, having to respect it, it's going to be a problem for him. What kind of prediction would you put on tonight like again he's been really rough in triple a it is course field it's funny he just came out of triple a so triple a to course field might be he, he might be used to he might be used to the course field environment the way that that offensive numbers exist in triple a but what would success look like for you from an innings pitched from an earned runs from a strikeouts walks type perspective yeah coming off an injury and then at course i'd say like if you get five from him that's great yeah um gives up a couple runs maybe three runs that'd be i think that'd be a good it also yeah and i got to consider the context of how that all happens but um i think that'd be a good start for him five innings three runs and then kind of you want to see him with like you said showing off the swing and miss stuff and i think yeah. that'd be a good positive step in the right direction i'm with you i think that's like the floor of yeah that'd be acceptable if if you told everybody hey bobby miller first start back two and a half months rough rehab out and kind of basically getting back into spring training mode and he can give you five innings, three earned runs, maybe get five strikeouts, one or two walks. To me, that would be success. Obviously, we're hoping for more. We'd love to see six innings, one earned, 10 strikeouts. But first outing back, you know, you're kind of just hoping we don't have a Walker Bueller repeat from last night as far as just not being able to get guys out, not being able to command the fastball, that kind of thing. Because the Rockies lineup isn't fantastic, but it is Coors Field and Coors Field is a nightmare. So uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Sebastian and I are in agreement. Five innings three or fewer earned runs, give me at least a strikeout per inning, one or two walks. That would be a successful, like, check the box, move on to the next one. Not not where we want Bobby Miller to land eventually, but given the context of this particular start would be sort of an acceptable performance. So let us know what you think in the comments below. As always, we appreciate you joining us here on Dodger Heads. That is Sebastian. You can check out his stuff over at dodgerblue.com. Of course, make sure you're following us, Dodger Blue 1958 on social media. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. As always, go Dodgers.